Hello everyone, and today I'll be showing you how to install the Better Than Adventure mod for Minecraft on Arch Linux, more specifically Manjaro uh, KDE Linux. So first off, we're going to need what uh, files, of course. Now there's two ways of going to get these files to get the mod pack itself. The first way is to go to their GitHub, or the second way is just to download it from their Discord. Uh, the link to their GitHub and the link they provide from the Discord will be in the description below. Nonetheless, I'm going to choose the one from the GitHub, which is going to be the beta.update.2.0 zip. Now the next step is going to be downloading the Prism Launcher. Um, there are two launchers they recommend. The Prism Launcher is one of them, and then the second one is MultiMC. However, Prism Launcher, as I know of, is available for Linux, so we're going to be using it, and it's quite usable for Linux. You have FlatHub and the various other downloads, and then if you want to download it from the terminal, there's an Arch Linux Manzaro, and then plenty of other uh, different operating systems uh, of Linux for you to choose from and to follow. This is why I've chosen to do Prism Launcher. And for this one, I'm just going to utilize the app image, if you are on Manjaro KDE, you can go to the Add Remove software and look it up yourself and download it from here. I don't know if this works, but we're going to be doing the app image for today. So if we go to our downloads folder, this is what we should have. We should have the BTA updated 2.0 sub, and we should have the Prism Launcher Linux app image. Um, so I'm just going to launch the app image. Yes, continue. Integrate and run. After it should finish installing, this window has just appeared. It was on my other monitor. So you choose your language. I'm choosing American English because I speak English in America. <laughs> Next, and then we're going to choose our Java. I am going to choose. I'm going to choose the most recent one right here, the highest one that's up to date. So I'm going to click next. And then, uh, for this, you just play around with what you want. Um, I'm just going to just leave this default, simple, colored. The widgets is going to be the system, and I will have background cat from multi MSC as this. So I'm just going to click finish, and just say welcome and add instance. So now we're going to have to add our accounts to the launcher. So we're going to go over here with accounts. So I'm going to click manage accounts. Then we're going to click add Microsoft. And this is where you're going to input all your information. So I'll be right back after I did that, do this. So here it is for the Microsoft account. We're just going to input the code that they provided us. At least for me. Click next. And so I did that. It's going to be fetching my information here. So as you saw moments earlier, um, it gave me an error, but I just retried the same process as I suggested. It's going to ask you, you know, can this app access your Xbox data and other, and you're just going to say yes. And then after my second try, here you go, here it is, username and my account type. And so once you have it, we'll do our next step. So anyway, once you have your account, you're just going to go over here, click close. And then we should be back in the screen where we can add an instance. We're going to click add instance. Then we're going to click import. And then this is where we go to the zip file. We copy and paste the location. We paste it into here. And then we click OK. Here we go. We have the BTA updater. So the final step here is all we have to do is go to launch, click launch. And I started start beginning all these processes. And then once it's all done, it's done. Or wait for it to respond. Well, it responded, but it closed on me. Nonetheless, when it's all done, you should see this better than adventure manage. And now it should be available to play. So now that there all there is to do is to launch it. We're going to do just that. However, I'm expecting an error to happen and I will explain to you why this error occurs. So once it shows up, here we go. 
And as you can see, we have an error, it's not working, and I can tell you why this happens. If you have chosen earlier on in the installation stage about uh, installing Java, if you have, because this is an old Minecraft we're going to, we're going to a beta Minecraft, so it relies on the older version of Java, and if you have a newer version of Java like I'm using, it's not going to work. So here's how to fix this problem. So what you're going to do is actually quite simple. You're going to open up the default Minecraft launcher and you're going to go to your settings and you're going to scroll down to show us sort of historical versions of Minecraft in case you haven't already. So I'll go back to our Minecraft Java edition. We're going to go to installations, new installation. Then we're going to look for old beta 3. We're just going to type this old beta 3 and we're just going to play. We're going to select it. So old beta 1.73, going to click play, understand it's old, play, going to install Java, the Java that's required for it, and you should have it right here. Once that is done, you're going to quit the game, and then you're going to go back to your Prism launcher, you're going to go to settings, you're going to go back to Java, and here we're going to click auto detect, and we're going to select this older one, this older version, click OK. Hit close, we're going to kick launch and we're going to restart this whole process. And it launched on my other side, on my other screen. But if we go over here, here it is better than adventure, a mod. So we're just going to just test this out. So, yep, new world, exactly. And here we are. We are in the game. We are in the mod. All right. Thank you guys for watching.